The electronic waste problem is the latest in the long human history of, of producing garbage. But unlike in the past, electronic waste is toxic as soon as it's not in use anymore. Uh, and we're just, we're producing it because we're demanding it at an ever increasing rate. There's so many computers, there are hundreds and hundreds of container loads full of e-waste leaving the port of Vancouver every single day. It's horrible because a lot of these places, it's just some guy roasting a, a circuit board over an open flame and he's sucking in lead and cadmium and all kinds of horrible metals. What's happening though is that whole ecosystems are being destroyed um, and entire societies are being destroyed through sickness and, and terrible health dangers that are happening from our toxic waste. Realistically, you can get five to ten years out of a piece of electronics if it's not broken, but because of perceived obsolescence, we want a new one almost as soon as we have it. Free Geek is an ethical computer recycler and they're a community technology center. What we're trying to do is keep all of our toxic waste within the boundaries of Canada and to actually deal with it ourselves. The first way we do that is by reusing things. So before we actually recycle, we're going to recycle in the fact that we're going to reuse them and refurbish computers as much as we can. Um, and then the computers that we can't refurbish, we are going to try and recycle them as ethically as we can. It's expensive to do it right, but it's important to do it right. So we give out computers in one of three ways. The first way we give out computers is we give to people who volunteer actually at Free Geek at our site for 24 hours. Also, we have a build program. So if people are really interested in getting to know how to build computers and get more on the technological side of things, we'll teach people how to build computers and they can build five and they take home their sixth. And then the third way we give out computers is our hardware grants. There's a hardware grants application form on our website and any organization that's a non-profit and they don't have to be registered can, can actually apply for this. And chances are we'll probably give them free hardware. Anything from a printer to 20 machines, depends what they want. One of our, one of our slogans, which I think says it all, is helping the need to get nerdy, <laughs> which I think is really awesome. Pretty much everything that gets done here, from the dismantling of the computers to the rebuilding of computers, is all done by volunteers. The few members of staff that are here are just here to answer questions, really. The volunteers totally run Free Geek. There's 2,200 volunteers in our database and five full-time members of staff. I think one of the main ways Free Geek benefits the community is, is through experiential education. Uh, people are terrified to open up their computers. People are terrified even to click on stuff on their computers because they think they're going to break it. So as well as giving away computers, we also want to educate people on how to use them. So when people pick up their 24-hour adoption computers, we will give them a free adoption class. And what that means is that we'll sit down with them for however long they need to make sure that they can do everything they want to do on that computer. You might have somebody coming through the door who's saying, I've got masses of computer experience, I've built computers before, fantastic. You might have another person coming through saying, I have never ever touched a computer before in my life. They can also build computers. Bring your gloves and, you know, a positive attitude and it's a good learning procedure for everyone. I love the atmosphere, I love the philosophy. Yeah, it's, this is just a great place. It's really everything a community organization should be. I know a lot more about computers now. It's, it's great. The social aspect is the best thing for me, really. Free Geek exists because the general public donates computer equipment to us. Um, and that means that people like you and I can donate anything that's to do with computers. Even if it's broken, we don't mind because we are ethical recyclers. It keeps things from just getting thrown out or shipped overseas. Because we, we won't be able to keep the same level of resource extraction going forever. We're going to have to work with the amount of resources that we actually have. So we want to take some of that toxic waste and make it into something useful that people can take home and access technology with. It's pretty fun. I love my job. <laughs>